Curling is very important to uh, Chisholm. The uh, club started in 1960. My dad and my grandpa were both uh, original uh, members of the club. So I'm third generation curler here in town. My boys are both curlers. It's just a, a big part of our community. It's uh, similar to chess on ice is what people call it oftentimes. It, it is a team game, four players on each team and each player would deliver two stones or rocks every end or inning as they are called sometimes. And most of the games are played eight ends and it takes a couple of hours for a game. This sport is the same everywhere where people get done with a game and you go and hang out with the team you played against and get to know their story a little bit and, and maybe there'll be people who you'll be part of their story with later down the road. I loved going to the the club on senior day because you know I'd watch them curl and then they'd all come upstairs you know either pour a cocktail or a cup of coffee and play cribbage and smear we played some pretty high stakes smear games back then and uh, I would be part of that you know at ripe old 19 20 years old and that's what progressed me in the sport is just because I loved being part of that. We're just a small little town of 5,000 people and we have a very successful curling club we have an Olympic gold medalist we have senior world uh, champions national champions. Uh, we've produced just a lot of uh, good curlers. We started it here in about 1963. We used to have a curling club in, this, in the city hall with, a, I think it was three sheets of ice there, and uh, it was a pretty closed uh, affair. The guys that belonged to it were the only ones that could come in, in fact, we couldn't even come in and watch. And we tried and they would, they would escort us out of the building. The original club was built in 1960. 125 people each uh, donated $100 and they were the original shareholders. My dad and my grandpa were two of those people. The club then got built uh, with a lot of uh, volunteer labor. Uh, a lot of volunteer concrete work was put in, block work, uh, the construction of the club was done that way. When we first opened this place, we didn't have uh, ice, an ice maker. Okay. We had a bank on the weather, as they did down at the city, uh, city hall. When we, there, they'd open up the windows and it was pretty tough to start the season because you had a bank on freezing weather in order to be able to get the ice frozen for curling. And, uh, and then the same thing would turn, if it turned warm, you know, maybe the season would end very early. Bill Lachin was uh, everybody's high school gym teacher. He's currently 101 years old. I had the uh, privilege of curling with him uh, a few years back. I was the youngest one at senior curling at 50 years old, and he was 99 at the time. So he has started everybody on the right track to curling in Chisholm. Well, it's hard to explain how grateful I am to the club to get me into curling and uh, play all these years that I have and uh, be, be, be so successful. But that had a lot to do with Bill Lachin getting us all started, training us, and uh, uh, helping us develop as curlers and then continue in college and uh, into the playdowns. Bill is one person who has always had an extreme love for our sport. I remember seeing the intricacy of the things that he did to preserve the history, you know, the Serrano Junior Bonds Bill, you know, starting as the, as the Junior Boys Bonds Bill and turning into the Serrano and, and his passion, you know, for the curling club uh, is something that's in this town definitely something that's pretty unmatched. We got a big turnout because there were no girl uh, Minnesota State High School League uh, sports other than swimming. There were so many rinks. I had 23 girl rinks in Merle's and 16 boy rinks besides the high school team. So I used two sheets of ice for practice for the high school and had intramural curling every night. A lot of people talk about John Lesnick as being a great youth uh, instructor in town and he just did great things for our club. 
Well, John is a great friend of mine. We were uh, graduated from high school together in 1969. He lived a few blocks away from me on the south side in Chisholm. So we were great friends. When he retired, he came back to Chisholm and he would come up to the curling club after school every single day and uh, help the kids teach them how to curl. But before they could go out on the ice and curl, they'd have to sit at tables in the curling club and do their homework. And he would drive them to bond spiels on weekends. He would pay for everything, pay for their rooms. He would drive them around. And uh, he was just a great friend and uh, a great person for the Hib uh, Chisholm Curling Club. So John was always that guy that was there for us, you know, from my first time stepping foot on the ice to teaching me how to curl to then progressing with us and taking us on the road, coaching our junior teams. You know, without him, you know, none of us would have had, you know, the success that we had because he was always there for us, you know, bringing us to bond spiels, you know, there for us every day after school, opening the doors. We owe everything to him. It was interesting in how active the club was when we first started in that we had men's leagues every night. Uh, I curled on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, and there were leagues on Wednesday and Friday, and the, and the women curled at the, at the same time. So this club was going every night. And then bond spiels usually on the weekend, so it was very, very active. A bond spiel is a curling contest. Uh, they can be very recreational or they can be uh, for money and very competitive. The Serrano Spiel was started by Bill Lusheen back in 1963. I started it, uh, picked it up in 1984 when Bill got uh, involved in other activities. And what's really unique about the Spiel is, again, it started in 1963, so from 1963 up until this year, 2020, there have been only two people who have ever run the Spiel, Bill Lusheen and myself, which is kind of unique. It started off being called the Boys Bond Spiel in 1963. And it was my cousin, Tom Serrano, who was a member of the winning team. It was the uh, Bob Matson team. And Tom was a member of that team in 1963 and 1964 when they won the Bond Spiel both years. Then what happened is Tom later went into the military. He was killed while serving as a medic in Vietnam in 1966. At that point, Bill and my uncle, Dominic Serrano, who was Tom's father, uh, had a conversation and it was very, very gracious of Bill and the Chisholm Curling Club to ultimately name the Bonspiel after Tom Serrano. And at that point, my uncle had also put up some of Tom's insurance money and kind of a trust fund to help support the Bonspiel in later years. So I think um, that happened probably in about 1967 that the Bonspiel became named after Tom Serrano. The junior curling program, it doesn't only teach you about curling, it also teaches you about teamwork. You have the sweeper who needs to help you sweep, you have the skip who's helping you call the shots, and kids really need to learn that teamwork's really important. Another thing is, it's fun. There's bond spiels that kids can join on weekends, you meet kids from other towns, you eventually start to curl with them on, your, on different teams, and you just create new relationships with children from other areas. I remember my favorite Serrano I think I ever played in was um, lost the final, which I did I think three times, never won one. The Serrano is just a really good get together to wrap up a curling season for you know all the junior curlers around the state. Well, I uh, have been curling here at the Chisholm Club for a long time, ten years probably. I was lighter than the rock when I started, so I've had a long history of curling here. I have done the Serrano once probably about eight times. I really enjoy it. The setup is amazing. The ice is amazing too. And everybody's so fun to play around here. I've been curling for 13 years. Um, I started when I was about five or six years old and uh, our coaches were junior national Olympians. So I was pretty inspired by them and it just was an easy going sport. So I, I liked it and stuck with it because it was just as you pleased. And, it's a gentleman's game, which is fun. So I've played in the last chance, which is a very fun bond spiel. I play men's league. I've won that a few times. It's very nice to meet people from all over the place. I'm curling in the Serrano bond spiel. It's a junior spiel. I've been curling for five years. I'd like to go to the Olympics if that is possible, but 
right now I'm just focusing on junior nationals. There were so many good curlers that came out of the Chisholm Curling Club, you know, John Schuster with the gold medal in, uh, in the Olympics, but also, you know, Jim Vukic uh, was a curler from way back in Chisholm. He ultimately went out to Seattle where he won the men's nationals several times, if I recollect. Paul Pustovar curled here for many years too, and he's, uh, he's won the men's nationals on his own as well as playing with us in the senior men's nationals too. I mean, these are excellent curlers, very devoted curlers. I started curling uh, in the high school league in uh, Chisholm. I actually got cut off the basketball team in 1968, I think it was. Mr. Bob McDonald was the coach at the time, and he did cut me from the basketball team. It was uh, going from the B team to the A team. I've laughed about it many years, and I've seen him and talked to him and, and told him that I was grateful that he cut me off the basketball team because I was able to start curling. Basketball was my life back then. It was the five, six day commitment. And if Mr. McDonald found out you were doing something else, you're gonna be running stairs. Jerry Jordan, when I was in sixth grade, is our pre-algebra teacher. And he actually put out a flyer kind of strategically as like basketball and uh, hockey were ending. Saying, you know, come try curling. You know, anybody who wants to, you can come to the last few nights of junior curling. And that looked to be a good opportunity to do so since basketball season was over and I wasn't gonna get in trouble with Bob McDonald. And Looking out here right now, I can, I can picture that first night down here um, throwing rocks on sheet two with Bob Shock as one of the instructors. And uh, that was my first time throwing. And from that day forward, I, I kind of knew it was something I wanted to do because I just had so much fun in it. I curled a lot with John, leagues, bond spiels. Um, we actually, won the last chance bond spiel, my favorite bond spiel back in 2012. I say that was because of me and you're darn right it was because of me. So uh, uh, that was that was like for sure one of my top, um, my top accomplishments in curling um, after all. But I've won plenty of bond spiels. I've been around, played a bunch of them. Uh, you know, I've curled with Smitty, um, Pusty, Paul Pustavar, I've curled against him a bunch and a lot of the iron range old school guys that were successful back in the day I've curled against all those guys and those are honestly guys I love having conversations with and learning you know about back in the day and those kinds of things and and that was honestly the what drew me to the sport first was just like the sense of community. Curling in Chisholm doesn't go back centuries but as long as I can remember from the time I was a kid coming here and watching my dad play and even seeing it progress, like there was only men's league on Thursday nights, you know, when I was a kid and that was you know, kind of the only league and maybe a few senior teams playing on Tuesday afternoons and to see what it's progressed in uh, to our town to having multiple leagues and a thriving junior program just like when I was here. It's definitely a pillar in our community. You know, if you, even if you come in here, you know, fresh face, you've never been here before, you, they, we will welcome you. Um, and want you to play and want you to join and want you to get better. So we would, you know, if, if anyone's thinking about joining, it's always a wise move, you know, just walk in the door. You know, someone's gonna greet you, someone's gonna, you know, take you in and you, you'll probably even get a game in right away. I think the best part about curling is that like anyone can do it, no matter how old you are. Um, I know there's a few people here who are over 90 and they still curl today. My dream is to go into junior nationals and then we'll go from there, but you never know. I'm just, I, I know for a fact, I'm gonna stick through it though. and keep curling all through my years.